Hi guys, uh, it's been a wee while since I've done a video. Um, I'm going to show you how to tie a version of uh, what seems to be all the fashion just now, banana fly. Um, this is just one of the many versions I've tied. Um, it's really got some great movement in the water. Um, so I'm going to show you what you're going to need. First of all, uh, material wise. So, let's move the vice out of the way. Um, so we're going to be tying that on a 15mm uh, copper tube. And um, thread, just standard black uh, 6 or 8 o thread. Um, so... You'll start from the rear of the fly. I'm using just some of this uh, gold um, body material. Um, then from there, I'll be on to some gold, a short section of gold dubbing. Then you pop in the first wing, and that will be banana arctic runner um, then I like to put in some of this sort of dark kind of golden olive uh, pheasant hackle uh, there's a lot of materials in this fly then on top of that I'll go with some sunburst nyat here that will form the main body of the wing um, over that will be a banana uh, hen hackle. Then I'll put in some, some sort of um, gold flash wing uh, material. Um, then I'll just put a tiny, tiny bit of golden goat. You know, we're talking like that. Just that much, just gives that nice, it's got a lovely sheen to it, that completes the wing, uh, or just about completes the wing, sorry, um, obviously a couple of jungle cop nails, and the very final part of the fly is just a lovely bit of this soft, just, just to go over the top, front edge of the fly, just a bit of soft um, arctic fox. Um, so let's get started. So, 15 mil copper tube in the vise. Um, and then just into the back of the fly. So just get a small piece of that gold, any gold will do, gold tinsel, holographic gold, uh, you could just do a whole dub body, I just like putting a little bit of this in, the rear of the fly, it's sort of like a flat braid. And that takes up the, sort of the rear half. Off of that, body is really simple on this fly. Um, so, a little pinch of dubbing, a little bit more, and stop running over there. You want to give yourself plenty of room here uh, for wing for the rest of the fly. So next in, small piece of banana, a 
just say that. And then over that, I'm going to pop your, your um, pheasant hackle. You know, I only want one turn of this when I'm doing it. You can do the fly without this, but it just, for me it just adds a wee bit more movement with these fibres. There you go, one turn. I'm going to get one turn anyway, by where I took it. And just sweep them backwards. There we go. Now, in with the nigh out wing. Something around that length. Perfect. nicely and then that's when you're coming in for your next hackle banana hackle I said I've been I was slowed down a wee bit now but I've been tying stacks of these different versions pot belly pig versions and single double hook versions and I've only had one on the line once I've not been out very much at all but I had one on the line a couple of weeks ago and I must say they, they do look great in the water although I've never caught nothing on one yet So, many winds as you think you feel comfortable with this one. I'll ju I'll try and get the whole the whole feather on here. Trim away. Now try not. That's quite good. Just sort of force it downwards, and then just like that one. Yeah, and it's standing out. Just trim away. There we go. Now I'm going to put this flash into the wing now. Mm. Maybe two or three strands and then double it back. Trim it the same length or just a wee bit longer than the wing. There we go. Now you can go ahead and put your, your JC jungle cock in here now. Yep. And 
end on the other side to match it up. Something right, that's better. So, let's just go that far. Now, I'm going to put a bit of goat in now. So, I'm going to advise a decent bit of wax for the goat because it is notoriously. Slippy. And as I said, just a thin just a thin bit of go just like that. At the top. And it goes. Trim. And then the last bit is just this, this bit of fox here. Get your guard hairs out. You can take all of them out though, leave a couple. And you want that sort of, I would say, three quarter length up the fly. There we go. Trim the waist. Uh, we have super glue on the thread. There we go. And that is a decent looking fly. Um, now, for the varnish, you could leave it black like that. What I've done for this one is I'm using golf uh, resins, so I've mixed some hot orange. <clears throat> I kind of find the black, don't know where it's going. But I've mixed it and I've got this kind of dull, oh, dull banana black kind of colour. Sorry, banana yellow kind of colour. And um, I show. Apply some of that then out, and you'll be able to see what it looks like on the fly. So it just adds another dimension to the fly, something different. I was just taking my time putting this stuff on. There we go. Right, 
finish it with a torch. Any like stray hairs? There we go. All I need is done. We cut a varnish. Job done. Thanks for watching, guys.